In this video, we are going to do some advanced data mangling. Woohoo! And you're watching Dev Tips with guest hosts MPJ and David. So where were we? What are what is the problem that we are trying to solve? At the I'm just going to sign into the app. Yeah. So we have this app. We want to fix the hours aggregation, and we have to fetch for each playlist. We have to fetch the songs yeah. in that playlist. We saw that when we had the playlists here, the playlist items, they didn't contain the actual songs. So where are the songs? Because I, there seems to be a tracks here. Yeah. So I think that this href here, mm. that is actually the, um, the API endpoint for that specific playlist. Oh. For the tracks. So we can just do a fetch for that. Um, that href, and we will get the tracks for that playlist. Okay, so we just add tracks and then the playlist items. No, 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 no. Huh? It's, it's already made for us. Oh, oh. It's pre-made. It's pre-made, so... We can just... When we're here in the fetch... Yes. It's fetching the playlists, and we're getting the playlist items. Yep. We can also add here uh, the track. URL, should we do that? Or, or should we just for each uh, of these add the songs by fetching? We're gonna do so, we have to do some processing before this one. Mm. Uh, so after the first, then here, yeah, we have to do like a then here. <laughs> um, and uh, we have the data here. Data. Uh, and again, can we go back? Because I don't remember how, quite how it looked like. So it has a tracks property. Yeah. Okay, each playlist has a tracks property. Mm. And that has... An href? Yes. So first, let's uh, extract that into a variable, that href. Start simple. Uh, data dot tracks dot hrefs. No, not what you, what you mean by yeah, that? exactly. But data is an array of uh, playlists. Oh yeah, of course, items. And I should just do you want to do you want to hmm? Do we want to keep them together with each item, or do we want to just have all the tracks? Explain to me. What you're intending? I'm intending to do a uh, fetch all of the tracks for all of the playlists. And just put them together. Yes. Into one big thing. Yeah. Let's do a map, actually. Let's, uh, let's do a map of all the fetches that we're going to do. Okay. That sounds a little bit weird, yeah. but stay with me. Uh, so uh, let's do what, what we will uh, write data dot uh, items. So these are the playlists. Yeah. And then let's map that uh, and grab for every item or it's going to be playlist. Let's mm. call them playlists. Uh, and for each playlist, we're going to do a fetch. Fetch. Yep. And the thing that we're going to be fetching is that href. The oh. one in the track. So in the current playlist, yes, it has a tracks, yes, which has an href, yes, which is the one we're fetching. Exactly. And what are we going to do with that one? Uh, uh, we we'll do something here. No, that's the correct one, but it also needs the uh, he authorization headers. Oh yeah, of course. Because I don't think that is public data. All right. And that will give us a promise of the response. Mm. Do, 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 do. You can remove the curly brackets there because we don't need multiple lines. Like that? Yeah. And you can move, yeah, move that parents up. So yeah, let's break this and uh, assign this to a variable just to keep track of what the hell we are doing here because this is a bit tricky if you're not used to promises. Fetches of tracks. 
Yes, you can call it that. Uh, that makes sense. Uh, and now we need some indenting. So what fetches of tracks is going to be? This is going to be an array of promises. So that's an array of things we're waiting for to be fetched because Precisely. it hasn't. We can't know when it's done. Precisely. That's the concept of a promise. A promise yeah. is. Uh, it's, it's an ethereal object of something that you're writing. Just like a promise in real life, yeah. really. Uh, it will eventually uh, resolve to something. Mm. And the thing is, like, we can also add a... We want to make sure... Right now, those are going to be like an array of response objects. But yeah. we can't use those. No. Uh, we want to convert them to data objects because we want the JSON. Because if you see on line 103... Mm. Uh, we get uh, get the JSON of the uh, me dot playlist object. And oh, we're yes. gonna do that. So the, all the all these fetches, yep. all these fetches will also have be to converted into JSON. Yep. Yeah. And how would I do that best? Uh, in the, exactly the same way, you just depend then response JSON on on, on the fetch. Yeah, this is on the fetch. No, on no, the fetch. Isn't. This is on the map. No. Yeah. Exactly. So let me break this out into variables just so that we can track it easily, easier, easier, or see it easier. Um, I'm gonna add the curly brackets here because I'm gonna start writing multiple lines. Mm -hmm. uh, so this first one here. It's gonna be the response promise. The promise of a response that will eventually arrive. Yeah. And then uh, we are going to have the data promise here. That is going to be uh, the res it's gonna be the response promise, but with the then data extracted exactly. into a JSON. Precisely. Uh, so this way you can chain promises. And then we return the data uh, data promise. So promises can be a bit funky to wrap your head around. I have actually, I on my channel, I have an episode on promises if you want to dive uh, further into this. Uh, but just... It's essentially, it's just like promises in real life. It's stuff that we are waiting for and we have ways to attach things to the promises that happen when those promises resolve. Here we have this array of uh, track data promises. Just, yeah, that's right. The thing is that we want, uh, what we want here is, we want the actual track data. So yeah. We want to wait for the, them to re, uh, resolve. And when you have many promises uh, in a, an array like this, you can use a, a method that is built into uh, JavaScript called promise.all to do that. Mm -hmm. so we're going to do that. So, so that means that once not when all the promises have delivered, Yeah. then we're going to do something. Exactly. Uh, then, uh, hang on, uh -huh. track datas. So when we have the, tr now that we have the track datas, we have to merge them with the, um, uh, with the playlist data. Yeah. The playlist data is over here. Mm -hmm. It's now called data, and that's not particularly good because now There's we have lot of lots data. of data here. Uh, so I'm, we're gonna call it this, name this to uh, playlist data, to not confuse ourselves too much. Mm. Uh, and this is gonna be a track data promise instead. Yeah, makes sense. 
uh, and track data promise. So now that we have all the track data promises, we uh, wait for them, all of them, using promise.all. And when we have all of the track data, because this will now be the actual track data, uh, this will be an array of all the track data for all the playlists. Um, then, <laughs> so playlist data dot items. Let's, I'm gonna break this out because this is, Let's make this even clearer. Because this, this is all of our play, all our playlists. Yeah. Uh, then we're going to go through the track data. And here we're going to do for each actually. Mm -hmm. For each track data. We are going to assign that track data to the corresponding playlist item. All so right. the first playlist data playlist item is going to get the first uh, uh, track data. The second playlist item is going to get the second track uh, track data. Yeah. Uh, so now that I think of it, I'm doing this in the wrong way because now I'm iterating through the track data. Um, we don't want to do Oh, we can do that actually. So the first for each, uh, the for each uh, callback receives two arguments, I believe. The first one is the uh, actual item, which is the one that you usually use, but it also gets the number in the array, array. Which position in the yeah. array, which starts with zero. Yep. So the first one is zero. Precisely. And playlist works the same way. They start with zero, so we can do. Uh, playlists dot i the corresponding yeah. playlist uh, dot we just call this uh, songs perhaps mm. songs track data maybe uh, and we just assign track uh, yeah track data. You mean track data? Yeah, track, current, da yeah current, track data. The current track yeah, because, data item. Yeah, because it's it's kind of kind of misleading that it's called track data because it's it's actually tracks data. Yeah. It's multiple sets of uh, arrays of tracks. Yep. It's like the tracks for every playlist. But I'm not gonna be too picky with naming. Either way, once this promise uh, dot all is done. We, uh, it's going to result to this track data, and then it's going to do this combining of the two uh, <coughs> data structures, and then we are going to return track data. No, not track data. Sorry, uh, playlists. And then uh, right now the promise chain is broken. Uh, we're re returning nothing here. So we need to return uh, whatever that returns. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to break this out into yet another uh, variable just to keep clarify. track of what, yeah, clarify what is happening with all the promises. Uh, let uh, all track data, all, hang on, all tracks data promises. This is a mind bender. But it's. We're doing quite a bit, like quite a complicated fetch with m many different data streams here. So it's it's not the code that is complicated as much as the operation is okay. is complicated. Um, so uh, when the all tracks data promises uh, have resolved, this result to them, and this will return a play list. Promise like that, and then we return the uh, uh, the playlist promise at the end, like this promise chain. So uh, if um, 
<laughs> if this was the first time you saw Promises, you're probably scared out of your mind. Uh, but Promises are extremely flexible and fundamentally very simple, but they take a little bit of time to wrap your head around. So allow yourself to feel confused because that feeling of confusion that you're feeling, that's your friend, it means you're learning. And this is the advanced data mangling episode. It is, it is. So, so it's... we know that this is a bit more advanced. Yeah. Uh, so just, if it's hard, don't beat yourself up. Don't beat yourself up about it. This is a bit wrong because now yeah. this will be playlists. Yeah. And this is going to be, well, playlist. And the difference here now is that we will have access to item dot track data here to resolve track data. So possibly we can do something like this, track data. What are those going to be? I don't know how they how they look. Let's actually log them out to see how they look. Item no uh, yes, item. item dot track data stack data. Let's see what that looks like. Where's our stuff here? Okay. Oh, no, it has it items. Has items and each cool. item is a track probably. All right. Track. Cool. All right, it has an object that has a track property and it does have a name. Now, this is one, uh, this object is one more level than I would like it to be because this is the paging object, mm. sort of, and we're, uh, we're really not going to care about that at the moment. So, I'm going to just extract that items out. So I'm going to do something like that. I think that should fix it. Yeah, you're just selecting the items. Yeah, exactly. And putting them on the playlist yeah. uh, into the track data. Precisely. So now the track data looks like a bit better. Oh, we have the added at property and added by here and it's local. Do we care about that? Well, it's, what is the default sort if you're looking? Is that the added at? Is, does that matter? Uh, no, it does not. The playlist has an ordering. That's mm. the point of a playlist. Yeah. And where is that ordering? I think the ordering is uh, in these in this array. The array is ordered. Oh, okay. Yeah, then we don't have to care about that. We'll just... We don't... Okay, so let me just map that out. Yeah. Map uh, item... Item dot... What is track. it? Track. Yeah, because we only want to have that sub-field with uh, the track data. Yeah. So let's see how it looks like now. Now we have each track with all the information that we're oh, interested sweet. in. Cool. Uh, and the track has a name here. So I think we can possibly here just do item dot track uh, data and we map over that. So we just get the information that we want and not get surprised. Uh, track data. And we're going to create a new object here. And remember that because we are now doing this on one line, we need to wrap this in these um, uh, extra parens here. Because we're doing it on multiple lines. Uh, yeah, yeah, otherwise it will think we're doing it on multiple lines. Right. But we're, I'm just going to return an object here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do name dot track data dot name. And now possibly there are a lot of tracks for each because we haven't chosen just the top ones. Ah. So here are all the tracks in each playlist. Cool. Can we just get the, uh, like the first three ones? Yeah. Let's just, uh, what is that function? Slice. Let's try that. And we should do that before we map? Yes. Yes. Oops. Well, we can do that after as well, but. It doesn't really matter. Now it's, it's, I wonder how slice works when there are, aren't that many. I think it's all fine. That, Oops, no, sorry. That's two. Three. Three. Yeah. All right, so each one now has a three. Uh, the top three. Top three. Cool. 
Okay, can we do something about the duration? <laughs> yeah, how did that look in the... Yeah, exactly. I think it was seconds. In the original... Oh, yeah, well, I was thinking about our mock data. Are we still consoling this out? Yeah, so okay. let's just look at duration milliseconds. Oh, okay. Oh, we can just... We can easily fix that then. Yeah. So let's just uh, go to the place where we are mapping over the uh, item.tracks. Track data. Here? Yeah. So you know what we can actually do? You know, I'm do the ma data mangling that I'm doing down here, like mm. extracting just the name. Mm. We can actually do that up there. Oh, yeah. Uh, and so then that we can also do the... To count the total duration, we just reduce through all the duration ms. Yeah, but we already have code that does that in the uh, in the counter. It's just that the co that code expects there to be. If you go back to the the uh, fake data, you see that it expects a duration of yeah. seconds. Yes, but we would like to have all the durations and not just the top three. You see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to figure sure. out the total hours. Oh, I get what you mean. I get because what you mean. Because if this yes. has 10 yeah, yeah, songs, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the duration will be incorrect. Yeah, absolutely. And that's why I thought that when we are here, we, yep. can, we can just walk through and assign that to the playlist. Yeah. Is that a good idea or a bad idea? Yeah, we, yeah, no, that's a good idea. Do or, you mean assign, assign the duration? Like because we already have a thing that calculates oh, yeah, yeah. the uh, the duration. Let's use that. The only thing is, we let's just fix that it's in uh, milliseconds instead of seconds. Yeah. Okay. You do it. So I. Uh, so here. Let's uh, gonna break this up in the line. So I'm gonna do another map here. Uh, so we're mapping over each track. I'm gonna. Take uh, chain, grab this map instead here. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna make use of that. Paste that in here. Uh, and so right now we are we're basically cleaning up the data a little bit that we're getting from the. Let's just check that it's working here. Yeah, it has the top three yep. still. Yeah. Uh, but we want to fix the fact that because the track data. In our data structure that we made up and that we know works on the components that we have is a duration of seconds. Yeah. But looking at this data, we see that each... Uh, oh, okay, now we... Uh, we saw that, uh, that it has had a field that was duration underscore ms for milliseconds. Exactly. So we should take that and turn it into seconds and add it as a duration. If I field. find myself again here. So duration, colon, track data, duration, ms. All right, let's see. Divided by a thousand. Oh, yeah. Sure, that will Make give it us... Into seconds. Bam. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool, right? So we're just cleaning the data up in one single place and everything just works. Yeah. And... If we look for the Joker, no, okay, we're just filtering the playlists. Yeah. Good morning, Vietnam. You <laughs> see that oh, yeah. it's nine hours, and if it has Wes Anderson, that's was also nine hours. And if I have these guys, you know, this episode is not as long yet. <laughs> Can we add filtering for the tracks as well? That would be amazing. Can we just, how would we, uh, how would we do that? Should we just make a commit now before we start doing that? But so, <laughs> yeah, yes. before we f*** things up. Yeah, the, when things are working and it's like, oh, it's working, <laughs> then that's a good spot to make a commit. Added sub fetches. But you know what, let's remove that console log. Let's mess it. Oh, there it is. Do we have more console logs? I'm pretty sure we have. No, no. I think we've been we've been good. Added sub fetches of tracks yep. to each playlist. Cool. 
pushing that. Okay, so now let's key, now let's do the the filter thing. Yeah. Can we filter? So if I type type the Joker yeah. or something the, it will only show those. Yeah. Let's uh, let's. I'm gonna let you do this. Uh, it's it should be pretty pretty reasonably simple to add to the filter th uh, function. Uh, wherever that is. Yeah. Uh, this is getting, this is actually getting a bit big now. The on text, filter string text, on text change. Uh, yeah, that is just updating the state. Yeah, where, where do we have Where it? is actually, I think it's in the render. Okay, yeah, here so this is. is the filter here it thing. Is. Uh, yeah. Playlist to render. Okay, so now it includes all playlists that has that one. So, so what would the logic be? Like, would it go for either the playlist title? I think it's like... Or just to go on if the it's some If it's somewhere. Let's just make it simple. What do you mean by <laughs> we said somewhere? Like, if it's, if it's in the title or the... Uh, in one or, of the songs. tracks. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's just do. Uh, this is gonna need multi lines. So. Yeah. We'll just do like this for now. Yeah. And currently it says return this. Yeah, you need to move the parents. Like this. No, uh, there is a. You need to have a parents. You, like mm. the filter yeah, uh, gets the function. Yeah, yeah like, like that. that. Okay. So here we return if there is a playlist. So has playlist matches a playlist matches playlist. Yep. Sweet. And if it matches playlist. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because then I would just return if it ah. matches playlist or ah, awesome. matches track. Sweet. Now we're saying tracks because Spotify calls it tracks or songs. We call it, we actually call it songs here. So we let's call it matches song. Let matches song equal to. Okay, so for the playlist. It has the songs. No. No. <clears throat> no, because it, that is just the top songs. Yeah, we have to do the. Uh, we actually do have to do a slice here as well. No, but haven't we done that here? No, we do. do that it, depends on what we want, right? Yeah. Do we want it to? the filter to work on all the songs in each playlist or just the visible songs? Yeah, because we... Yeah. Like, it would make a bit of sense to have it work on all the songs, but it would also be a bit confusing in the yeah. interface to... if you wouldn't understand what it was that it matched, matched. Yeah, I think we should just go for the visible songs. Yeah. Yeah. Perhaps that's why people don't have that in the, in the interface. Whatever, mm. let's do it. Yeah, so... And then we'll write yeah. some text that says match for yeah. top songs. So let's duplicate that slice operation uh, that we had in playlists. Because we need to slice it here as well. Do we? I yeah, thought although, that when uh, we returned it here, we had sliced the track data to the songs. Yeah, so but this, songs... this is just the rendering function. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. In this... Exactly. So I think we just walk through the songs. You are right, you are right. And filter them, I guess. Song. And return if the song... It's just a string. Yeah. To lowercase. Includes. This a bit repetitive, but yeah. let's just work with me now. I think I'm with you.
That should work, right? I think so. Let's try. Bam. Okay. Something. I think I did a typo. Song to, to lowercase lower is not a function. Now the name. Do I have to have song.name? Mm, yeah, maybe. Yeah, because it has a duration, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's an object with duration and name. Let's just go try that. So if I write rabbit, this one should pop yeah. up. Did not work. Huh. Seems to match everything. Levi, no. So there's something incorrect here. Uh, do you get any errors in the console? Mm, great idea. Nope. Nope. Just the old margin warnings. Okay, so let's think this through. If the playlist with the songs filter out. Oh wait, hang on. Uh, match the song is always going to be true. Uh, because you're filtering, so you're always getting an array. Oh, so if this so you should length is yes greater than zero. Exactly, but you need to spell length correctly. <laughs> ah. All right, let's try that. So I type rabbit. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And I type. Do we have something that is repeating itself somewhere? Uh, I don't know, morning perhaps. Can we have that in several? Yeah. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Can we like... So we have morning here yeah. and morning here and both are returned, which is yes. exactly what we want. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's pretty, pretty cool. That's really cool. That's pretty cool. And if we were to, to want to have the data underneath, I guess we would just not slice it here and just slice it when we render. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, can you just fix that so it doesn't... Can we, we can use find instead of um, instead of filter, then it will work actually. Oh, because that will return only one. Yep. Morning. Yep. Cool. It will also be faster because find will stop. Uh, oh, when once it finds uh, something. Otherwise it will create a, an array of everything. And if I type something incorrect here, like... Uh, it doesn't find anything. Yeah, that works. And if I delete it, we have everything here. I think this is a good day's work. This is everything we need. Yep. Of course, we could do like minor details, like fixing this with the name and all that stuff. But for what we want to show, this works just like the overview in the Spotify application right now. Yeah, it does. With the addition of having the top songs, which we think is pretty cool. Yep. Uh, commit. Oh, let's, let's commit. Uh, okay, them. let's commit that. Let's commit that. Uh, filter now also applies to the top three songs per playlist. Wow! Pushing. And let's deploy. Let's deploy. Deploy. <laughs> this was way easier than I thought. It was. This is pretty cool. Of course, this is not perhaps the most readable code, but it's good enough for us. Yeah, like I think it's. Re I, I actually think it's reasonably uh, reasonably readable, uh, except possibly for the um, the pretty complicated um, fetching part. I think it's just quite a bit of it. Mm. Like it might be sensible if we wanted to make this a bit prettier. Uh, to break it up into, uh, into files where it makes sense. But again, it comes back to the high fidelity approach side. Yeah. Uh, we want to prove a concept. We don't want to create a maintainable app because this code will be... Uh, at best, the developer is going to uh, look at it for some kind of reference. Probably not, to be honest. No. Uh, the developer is going to throw it away. Yeah, uh, but the intent is for a stakeholder to just use 
his or her own data and just see if magically work here with the filter. Yeah, everything. exactly. Because this this stuff is way less compelling if it's using sample data yeah. rather than your own data. You're gonna be so much more engaged with a prototype where it's your data. And now it's booting up the back end and waiting for that one. And it's on the internet! It's working. In the next episode we will do the final styling to make it look really really good. Sort of. <laughs> it's all, it's, uh, it's the almost final episode. Yeah. Uh, it's a final episode where we actually do stuff. We're gonna have like a final episode where we talk about and, and wrap up. Yeah, so you can click here above me. Yeah, click it there uh, to see like, the final episode where we do some coding.